Hey, what is up guys? Today, Chris and I are checking out four different ways to amplify your multi-effect pedal. My name is Guillaume. My name is Chris. Welcome to Dumas Guitars and Basses. Today, we want to figure out how it's best amplifying, uh, sort of monitoring a modeler, a multi-effect, uh, whatever yes. that is all in something that you use instead of an amp. Exactly, all in one floor units, as the professionals call them. So your helixes, your campers, your axe effectses, your quad cortexes, and <laughs> uh, Fender Tone Master units. Uh, today we have the quad cortex on the floor. It's just going to be one preset, one sound. What we're going to do is give you the signal pass fully uh, rendered as it is, and then we're going to show you four different options that you have to monitor that in a louder way. Then yeah, amplifying it in a way. Because exactly. uh, let's be honest, this is what your audience was gonna hear. This is what you will record directly. Whatever you do with it, this is the signal. But you need to hear yourself. And if you're not using any monitoring, which a lot of people don't do mm -hmm. for multiple reasons, you will have to make sure that you have some sort of a monitoring. So we have a couple of ways. First of all, we'll plug it into the power amp of a normal traditional tube amplifier and uh, disengage the cab sim in the quad cortex. So we'll, we'll use the pedal emulations and the amp emulations and use the power amp of a normal guitar amp, the Rev D20, uh, just to amplify it. Number two is gonna be using an extra power amp that's, yeah. that's been created for these kind of um, like preamp pedals and, and multi-effects and modelers. Uh, and we'll use a guitar cabinet. Uh, because uh, that's also a really efficient way of uh, replacing an amplifier, but still making like amplifying your signal. Yeah, you're going from having basically the unit plus an amp to the unit with a power amp and just a cab. Yeah. To go to a full <laughs> range um, uh, speaker, and this is the FRFR made by Fender. The yeah. FR. 12, yeah. which is uh, pretty new and a lot of people uh, praised it. So we'll see how, how that performs. It has a power amp built in. So it's just literally going to be quad cortex going straight into this. And then, uh, and then we'll mic it in a, in a couple of ways. We'll talk about that in a second. And the last version is going to be going into a PA speaker. Yes. Like uh, we're using wedges here on the floor, which are literally PA like loudspeakers yeah. just on the floor facing you, which is a very practical way of monitoring yourself. Now the miking is going to be what what makes this video, I think, really worth watching and and making even because it's really hard to mic wedges or like give you the impression of what you hear when you use this or that or that or whichever amplifying solution. So that's why. We have our friend Giacomo. This is a Neumann uh, dual microphone head that gives you a very realistic stereo image of what's happening in this room at this specific spot. So it's yeah. like somewhere where we are and uh, you'll hear what we hear, which is really cool. We still have some closed mics on uh, the cabs just to make sure that we have a direct tone. Mm -hmm. Let's get started with just the line signal line out from the quad cortex so that you know what the preset sounds like and then we'll go through all the different options that we have today. We need to plug that in, yes. turn off the monitoring, move Jacob. Yes.
So, Giacomo, what, what did you, do you think? think? <laughs> Which one did you prefer? Uh, yeah, it's um, it's really interesting, man. Um, what would you what would you say? How how was the experience? I had some happy surprises. Uh, it's the first time that I'm using the Power Stage 200 uh, from Simul Duncan. There's the power amp. I was really super happy with like such a nice sort of compact little solid state yeah. thing doing such a great job. Yeah, totally. It's still nice to have an actual speaker. So for those kind of situations, that would mean that you'd have to send different outputs through the quad cortex or whatever your unit yeah. is, so that you'd have one without IR to the speaker that you're using on stage and one with IR to front of house, for example. But all those units can absolutely do that. Yeah, yeah. I was really surprised by that. I really enjoyed that sound. The Fender FR12 was, I think, in the room, my favorite. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think I, I, I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I can I kind of want one. I've been I've been thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, I know, I know. He uh, he's on the he's on the modeler trip yeah, right now. He's, yeah. I think he's gonna end up with one of those. Um, yeah, to me it was really interesting. I was expecting to like the into real normal amps power amp yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of sound most, but that was the the most different compared to the sound, the way you tweaked it. Yeah. Like we've listened to this through monitors, through um, headphones. I know how it sounds. I remember how it felt. And through the uh, the power amp of the D20 in the first round, it just sounded much warmer, pushier. Yeah. Um, it, 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 it was just a, a kind of tone where I would want to tweak it some more. Mm -hmm. But since the line tone is very different and that's what really matters if you yeah, use one yeah. of these, because that's what you'll record or send to in front of house you don't really want to tweak it. So it can be tricky to use it with power amps, depending on, of course, the amp, because every power amp will sound different and uh, most of them will not give you an EQ option mm -hmm. unless you're using an, a, a dedicated, a dedicated like a, power amp yeah. that will give you at least like a bass and treble. This one gives like even a bass, mids, treble and presence, yeah. uh, which, is, which is really cool. So that's why I enjoyed this much, much more. Yeah. Uh, this went through the same Harley Benton cab as the the Rev D20. So yeah. the, the first and the second round basically were the same cabinet. And then the third round was the FR, uh, which sounded to me really, really nice. It sounded like a Fender combo, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is something I love. It's just strange that even like a full frequency uh, kind yeah. of flat response yeah, yeah. speaker still sounds like a Fender combo. I it's probably that. the enclosure and everything. And it's paired with like those at Princeton. In yeah. The, in that specific preset that we've been using, those are Princeton clean amps well, with a couple pedals. No wonder then. For sure. <laughs> but I think it's fair to say that it would be fun to rename that video uh, Boomer Guitar Player like Solid State Power Ramp with his modeler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Do we, if if we get two hundred comments under that video <laughs> saying that we should name it that way, we will rename, rename it that it. way. Okay. Just for you. Just, just, just go ham, <laughs> go crazy, just do it. And the last round was the the monitors, the yeah. PA speakers, the, those wedges right in front of us. By the way, um, I think that's the one I would go for if it was like a bigger stage, because mm. um, usually I don't really like. Uh, my amp mic'd and then through the wedges because it's always it always sounds a little like unnatural mm -hmm. it's it doesn't react or sound the same way as your amp obviously because it's mic'd and going through the mixer and everything yeah. this time though with a, a modeler that is meant to go directly into speakers like this that felt to me most natural really the most guitar player -y kind of experience was with the power amp through the two by 12 guitar cap. Yeah. And this appeared to me like the most useful for stage, like okay. not in rehearsal room, not at home necessarily, but for stage, this is what I would trust. And I would know that it's gonna be a big and solid, uh, you know, full right. frequency tone that I can work with. Right, I would still go for the power stage, <laughs> power stage 200 yeah. on stage, just because I, I like the feel of that much better. And I think it's gonna be more versatile if you wanna use it as an amp for your audience, if you wanna use it as a monitor for yourself, I think that's, yeah. Uh, how do you do it? How do you do it? If you're a fan of those units, if you're using any of those floor, like floorboard modelers and whatnot, how do you monitor yourself, amplify, gig, jam, you know? Rehearse, whatever. whatever. Uh, let us know in the comments once you've told us about the title thing. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, 
Uh, if you have any more questions about the things that we've used throughout that video, check out the link in the description box. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and of course, let us know if anything was confusing because it's a lot of stuff here and lots of mics and options. everything. If there's anything that confuses you, let me know. I'll come back to you in the comments below. You will. See you down there. And uh, of course, meet you in the next video, probably Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Okay.